Uh, but we do have uh, some eBay purchases I just wanted to talk about that you may see in content as well. If I switch over here to the overhead camera. So, getting to package number one here. This one is really exciting for a video I have coming up directly related to what we were just talking about. With PC hardware shortages. I bought a graphics card. <laughs> and it's not a 3090. Although, I did just get my replacement 3090 in. If you missed it, uh, my 3090 actually offed itself. It, uh, I was playing Halo the Master Chief Collection, keep in mind you. So it's not a hard to run game. It is a game that, uh, is from, you know, the one I was playing was from 2007. It is incredibly easy to run. I was playing the Master Chief Collection and suddenly there was a bunch of coil wine. The fans ramped up to 100% and my screen went black. And then after I, uh rebooted my co computer a couple times. I could not get it to show any video output at all anymore. Even at post. I cleared CMOS and somehow that got me into BIOS and for it to post, but the whole time I was in BIOS there was this awful coil line and then as I was trying to change settings back since I thought, okay, maybe I fixed it, there was a loud pop and a kind of sulfury smell as if a capacitor busted or something and it was dead. Actually, I don't know that it was dead. It popped and then video started getting glitchy and I turned off the power supply. But I have rma it with EVGA um, and they have, they did an advanced RMA. They have it as an option on their site. And so I have a replacement. I need to ship off the dead one. But, whew. All right, so the GPU I have purchased here. Is this wrapped in aluminum foil? First and foremost, I've had the worst luck with people packaging things in the most asinine ways on eBay recently. I purchased, I finally picked up the Canon M200, which I showed off at CES 2020. I wanted to finally cover it as a stream camera option, and the person packed it with the lens taken off of the camera, no lens caps or body caps, so they wrapped the lens separately and then wrapped the camera with the sensor exposed, and so there was a ton of gunk on the sensor I had to clean off. And now we have a graphics card that is wrapped in aluminum foil. And you know, I don't know everything about these kinds of things, but I can tell you that aluminum foil is not an anti-static wrapping option. Yeah, I think I, think I bought chocolate. So... <laughs> This is, just wrap it in the bubble wrap. Like, bubble wrap can be staticky. You can get anti-static bubble wrap, but you know, if you're only selling one electronic thing that you own and you don't have that kind of stuff, don't wrap it in metal. Use paper or something. I don't. All right, I'm mad. <laughs> so. Anyway, yeah, this is this is how you put it in the oven to like reball it, right? No more tinfoil hat. It's tinfoil GPU. Can't let the bitcoins get to it. All right. So, assuming it works, this is the Nvidia GeForce 9800 GT from BFG. This is a graphics card company that doesn't exist anymore. This was the first graphics card that I ever purchased. This was my first graphics card purchase that I purchased as a dedicated piece of computing tech for myself. Um, for my one of my old Windows Vista rig, I bought it specifically trying to see if I could play Halo 2, and then I could never afford Halo 2, and so I played lots of other games. I have great memories of playing um, Dead Space and Borderlands and combat arms and all sorts of stuff on this graphics card. It is incredibly dusty. It's going to need cleaned out. I'll probably repaste it. The thing is, I actually still have this graphics card, um, but the shroud was messed up. And I really feel like the shroud on mine looked different than this one, but this is the only one I can find. In fact, I'm going to Google it here. So this may not even be the correct card, but I still have mine. Uh, BFG 9800 GT. It's a one gigabyte card. 
Oh, okay. So there is a little bit of a difference here. I'm pretty sure the one that I have is this one. I'm pretty sure I had this one. So it looks slightly different, but effectively it's the same card. Actually. Wow, that sucks. I think this one only has 512 gigs. Five, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. <laughs> it obviously doesn't have 512 gigs. I think this is the overclocked version, and then that is just the normal version uh, on the Amazon page. Because um, this one has an S-Video output, and mine didn't. Um, but effectively, it's the same graphics card. It's the first graphics card I had, and then I used it for a long time as my dedicated PhysX card, paired with my GTX 660 when I had it. Because uh, that was a combination people recommended. I can't say I ever saw performance benefits from it. Um, but it's something I did for a while. And this is a card that basically right as... I think it was still... Like I had enough of a warranty. I think it was still in warranty. But um, it was right as soon as BFG Tech went out of business... Uh, I started having a fan rattling issue, and so I took off the shroud, and so I still have the card itself without the shroud, but I'm working on a video where I wanted the card in its authentic form. Um, and so, I picked this up on eBay, it was super cheap, it was like $17. Um, and I am stoked, because I'm gonna make a video about playing the Master Chief Collection on my rig that I had in 2007. Which needs this card for it, because I'm pretty sure it's still playable. Um, so I'm very stoked for that, and just to have... A shrouded version of my original uh, GPU um, purchase. Just thought I'd pick it up while I could. Like I said, apparently it is a different card from the one that I had. But from what I can tell, it's still effectively the same thing. 